Hello, YouTubers. Would help if this thing was unmuted. So today, I'm gonna talk about a little bit of history. Uh, you guys are all thinking, okay, you've been talking about a Game Boy for a while. Well, I think that the Game Boy is a very underrated console, well, handheld rather, that you know doesn't really get brought up in a lot, and I do mean a lot of reviews because a lot of people usually just do like emulation of this thing and don't really get you to get to the nostalgia of the thing, you know. Um, this is actually the first thing I actually owned when it came to gaming. You know, the Sega Genesis was the family's. You know, my brother got his Nintendo later on. You know, some other games. My dad had the Sega Master System. That was his. He owned it. And, you know, one Christmas, you know, my, my dad was showing me the... He showed me the Sears catalog. He, he, he put it in front of me. I'll use this as an example because I don't really have the Sears catalog anymore, obviously. I think it's probably in the... Probably filter out his toilet paper now who knows but you know he handed me that that catalog and you know I was looking at my brother's Nintendo that looked down at the, the catalog I looked down at my brother's Nintendo he was having fun on it you know because every once in a while he was bored or something he said here you play I don't care so I sit down and I'll just play it so I would just play it and you know I wanted to have something where I could play you know something I could you don't have to worry about taking turns with as much because my brother never got the he never really asked to take turns with the handheld but he but I looked in that catalog and I saw Game Boy Nintendo Game Boy and I'm thinking Nintendo it's a game and I'm a boy so this has got to be for me it's for a boy and I'm a boy so I'm looking at the catalog I'm like dad and he goes what son and I go dad and he goes what and I go dad he goes god damn it what with his eyes glistening, so then I go, "Well, Dad, can I for Christmas? Can I have a Nintendo Game Boy?" So then my dad kind of scratched his beard a little bit, and he goes, "Son, are you gonna play that Game Boy?" "Yeah." He goes, "All right." Now I says, "Can I have these Battle Trolls too?" He goes, "You're pushing your fucking luck." And I was like, "All right, sorry." So then Christmas came around. My brother got a few additional games. I think one he got from Grandma or something. Like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde or something like I can't remember where the heck he got that from. He did get Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, I think, that year. Or was it a year before? I was young when it came out and he got it. He hate. I mean, I think he loved and hated the game at the same time. Because every time I would come in the living room and look at the TV, he was usually playing it. I think it was just playing to you know, amuse my family or whatever. So that way, you know, he's enjoying the gift. Deep down inside, he's probably had this deep burning hatred for the damn game, but either way, it was, you know, it was quite amusing watching him play that game. He got pretty far, and then he would die, and then, you know, it was, then I would try it when he was not paying attention, I'd play it, and I was like, what am I doing? Why am I turning into Dr. Mr. Hyde, and it'll be game over, and I was like, ah, fuck this game. But, alright, so, basically what I got with this Game Boy was a bundle pack. It came with, like, this power supply with it. It came with the whole shebang, you know, so my dad, you know, me and my mom, knows this role well. My dad would sacrifice everything to make sure his family had stuff back in the day. So, you know, he had to... He, we weren't really that rich. You know, my dad has a decent job. He's getting paid decently well. So, you know, he can, he's better off now as he was before for his, future, his old job. But before, you know, he couldn't really afford a lot of things, but he used to sacrifice himself day in and day out to make sure the family had some money. For like, groceries. My mom would do the same thing too. She would work at McDonald's, not McDonald's, I'm sorry, Burger King and Shaw's and all that. My brother, you know, followed up with a job at Shaw's too. That's that's later on. But, you know, th they had this, th they would do this thing. This Basically, my brother, you know, he wanted to make sure he would have his own money because, you know, he didn't, he thought it was an okay idea, I guess, for my dad to have this job. But, you know, my brother had this thing with him that he had to make his own weight because, you know, he liked paying for stuff himself because he felt accomplished that way. You know, it's really admirable by my brother. He likes to do stuff usually on him by himself. And, you know, it's really a nice thing, you know, to see that with him. Because, you know, he didn't want all this hand-me-outs kind of thing. He hates that. So, so we basically, you know, I got this Game Boy. And it came, <coughs> I'm sorry, it came with two games. Well, my dad bought the separate one. But one of the games was this, Street Fighter 2. Everyone knows this game, right? Street Fighter 2. Great little game for the Game Boy. It wasn't perfect, but when I was a kid, I kicked this shit up into hardcore mode. I was just beating the game like crazy. I was reckless with it. 
Then I also got this gem, which I keep in a case because one of my favorite games of the Game Boy, next to uh, Super Mario Land 1 and Super Mario Land 2, which I'll go into Super Mario Land after. But, you know, I got this with that, and this right here is downright my favorite game on the Game Boy. I'd never get too far in it because, you know, I wasn't that great of a game player. I'm still not now, obviously. But when I got this game, it was a meant a lot to me because in, me and my brother used to watch Ninja Turtles from time and time again. You know, and it was one of my favorite shows because I guess I got to watch it with my brother, and it felt nice playing this game. So I would just play this, and, you know, I was happy. You know, to this day, a lot of people still sought after this cartridge, but to me, I'll never sell it. Ever. Uh, Street Fighter 2, still staying with me, obviously. Um, one of the first games I ever bought, I'll pull out my little container. Ooh, this thing weighs a ton. Let me see. What was it? <laughs> I gotta get it. Never gonna get it, gonna get it, never. Um, let's see, where is it? All these games. For one of the first... Ugh, what's that? One of the first handheld Game Boy games, or first game in general I ever bought for myself, with money I got from, you know, just earning money, was Super Mario Land. Of course, Tori on the phone right now, and it's in my right ear. She's probably gonna say, "Hell yeah, Daniel! That game is amazing!" Ooh! But um, she's trying. To, she's just trying to hold from actually saying anything. But anyway, game was pretty awesome. You know, it was one of the first games I bought. It was at KB Toys, and you know, it was a great little game. You know, it still is. It was the first three games I ever owned. I'd play these things on loop constantly. When I got home from school, just sat down in my bed and played them. Endlessly. You know, these are the things that nostalgically hit me as being some of the top games I've ever loved because I grew up with them basically. It's one of my first handheld games. You know, I was a little kid, I didn't know better. I was just like, you know, I wasn't a hardcore collector. I was like, oh my god. You know, that kind of personality. You know, it meant a lot to me just to have something for my own, you know, console wise. You know, I, I was too. Too, you know, stupid or realized anything the great value of some other games other than these three games alone. And these right, three right here stood by me for a long time. You know, that's that's basically my history with the the original Game Boy and why I have it and how I got it. It was, you know, it felt a lot to me that I actually got to hold one of these things and it still works. It just needs a new uh, screen guard. Pop in. Mm, needs a blow. That that's it right there. That's my memories. That's start screen. That right there, folks, is basically my history behind my gaming, really. Thing still works too. I didn't get the second hand, I didn't get this eh, I died because I can't see the screen too well. But you guys see it. Game Game Boy still works. Still runs great. Got this when I was a kid. Love it still. You know. I sadly though need to get a new screen guard, you know, and like clean up the screen. But other than that, uh that's my history. And memories are never for sale. They're always on layaway. But take it away easy guys, and thank you guys so much for listening to me ramble for nine minutes of your life. <laughs>